Hi guys, long time no see. My name is Sophie if you are new here and in today's video I'm going to do a get ready with me and a little Q&A. So I just got out of the shower. I work today at 10 um, so I'm gonna leave here around 9. It takes half hour to get there um, but I like to get there a little early so I'm just using my um, replenishing serum with vitamin C and E to start but if this is your first video welcome and if it's not you know that I was a medical assistant and I recently well about five four or five months ago I filmed a video that I quit my job in August I'm back to being an MA part-time at a new clinic so that's a little rundown and I asked you guys on my Instagram to fill out the like anonymous questionnaire so I asked for medical assisting related questions lifestyle and divorce questions because if you don't know I was married and divorced and I have a whole like video on that as well so let's just get into it it's gonna be chit chatty while I do my makeup, possibly my hair, um, I'm probably just going to let it air dry. I'm just going to use the It's a 10 Miracle Spray Leave-In. And get right into it. First question while I do my moisturizer. Someone asked what an average work day looks like, and I work at a vitamin infusion clinic. So we do vitamin C, semaglutide weight loss injections, we do glutathione, D, B, what else? Magnesium, just like everything. It's like a feel good center, like it's just amazing. I love it. I get a lot of the treatments done and it's just like such a good, healthy, happy place to work. But we see around 20 to 30 patients a day and I do a lot of the injections. So the semaglutide, which is the weight loss, those are just little shots that go in the belly. And then right now vitamin B and D is really popular. So I do all those and then I don't start IVs because not certified to do that yet maybe one day but um that all comes Erica who's the owner and nurse practitioner she starts all the IVs and then I can like take the IVs out I can switch the bags I can do all that fun stuff I fill up the vitamin bags like with the vitamins so yes we're very very busy I also help with her social media and like reception work these are gonna be random so someone asked if I want kids and I have always wanted kids from the time I was like literally a kid I've like playing dolls was like my favorite thing I've always just been like a little mother in my head um, so I definitely want kids at least two. Oh, oh I'm just putting on some salicylic acid on all my zits because I'm breaking out and then some under eye cream um, working on that anti-aging you know so um definitely want kids two maybe three maybe four um, someone asked how I manage my anxiety um, and that's a good question I and medicated. I'm on Lexapro. I have been for many, many years now. I'm 22. I've probably been on since like I was 15 or 16 and I've gone up in dosage. Um, and recently I've been really anxious again. So I don't know what that's all about. I think it's just like seasonal depression on top of it. I live in Wisconsin. There is no sunlight. It is literally cloudy and gloomy every day. Um, but so medication, and then just like really acknowledging it and like doing something about it. So this morning I was, I've been sleeping in really late. So I'm like, you know what, this morning I'm going to wake up and I did a workout. It was literally only like seven minutes and it was just on the TV in our living room. But I did it. I woke up early. I drank my coffee and 
it's 7.56 and I like feel so much better about myself already than I have the last week. So working out in summer, I would go for a walk, but here I can't really do that. It's so slippery and gross outside. So, and then I take a bath literally every day. That's like a non-negotiable for me. I, it's just so relaxing for me. Um, someone asked how I realized I was time, it was time and I was officially ready to move on from my divorce. So now I'm going to do makeup. Um, I use the CC cream in shade, I think it's very light because it's literally the dead of winter here. Also I use a majority of Mary Kay products, they are the bomb.com. Um, I think I finally realized it was time to move on when I started like having feelings for like other people like for the longest time after the divorce I was like I don't even want to look at another guy like guys are gross they make me nauseous like the idea is so ugh. but then like when I started actually like oh I could like you're cute I could go on a date with you that's like when I turned a corner and was like oh there is there is other fish in the sea, like they all say. So that was like a huge turning point for me is like, oh, there's other guys out there. So it took me a while, but, and you're gonna go on like crappy dates and stuff, but just keep going because the right one will be right around the corner. Someone said, why have you been so quiet recently? And I used to always be like on social media. But I think within the last year, like dating my new boyfriend, he's not a social media guy. So I'm not gonna whip out my phone when he's around because he doesn't like being filmed. He doesn't like, like he doesn't care that I do it. He thinks cool, whatever. But like he, out of respect, like for him, I just, he doesn't like it. So I don't do it. I'm also really busy and I don't know, like, I've been living in the moment more, which is, like, cliche, but I was so active on my phone when, like, I had nothing else going on in my life, like, positive. It was, like, that was it. Now I have so many other great things going in my life that, like, social media isn't, like, a top runner, but it should be because I like it, and I don't, so that's my excuse. I've been happier. Um... How do you feel about having kids slash what do you think of women who don't want kids? I, like I said, want kids. I love kids. I don't care if I have boys or girls. I want both. But also, like, I really don't care. I'm just filling in my eyebrows with this elf eyebrow pencil. Um, and for women that don't want kids, like, why would I have an opinion on that? Like, I don't care. Don't have kids if you don't want them. Don't be a mom if you don't want to be because, like, you're setting yourself up for a very long <laughs> life of not wanting kids if you have them. So, I don't, I have a friend who does not want kids and, like, that's totally fine. Like, why would I care? Um, someone asked if I place the IV for drips and if it's a certification. And then if I can give any tips. And I don't start them. So I don't have any recommendations or tips. But maybe one day if I ever become certified, I can let you guys know. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow. Just with my Ratchet Naked Warm Palette. Any possibility that I might progress to LPN or RM from a MA, you would be a great nurse. Well, thank you, but right now, no, I mean, probably not. I am just so happy with owning my own online boutique with my mom and sister, doing social media, like, as a extra and then MA right now, because I never thought I'd be an MA again, but this, like, job opportunity arose, and it's, like, perfect for me. I don't even feel like I'm at work when I'm at work. It's just the two of us and I don't have to deal with like the politics of a clinic or like healthcare or any of that stuff that I didn't like. Um, so as of now, no, I would have to have like, I don't know, 
I just, I don't like school. I would, I think I'd be a good nurse. I would like to think I'd be a good nurse and I would like it, but not right now. Probably not. Never say never, but no. <laughs> um, pros and cons of becoming an RN after being an MA, deciding if I, okay, I don't know. I'm not an RN. <sighs> RN pay is like, so much more but there's also like way more responsibility if you don't work in a clinic you have call and weekends and holidays and all that fun stuff so i don't know like that's a hard one i don't know anybody who has gone from ma to rn that i can like ask for advice for you i'm just curling my eyelashes and using the lash love fanorama mary kate mascara but um yeah, I'm sorry. I I don't know. That's a hard one. I think the only, like, significant change I know is, like, if you're going to stay in a clinic, pay is so much more, but I don't know. Pay is also different everywhere, depending on your state. Wisconsin medical assistants don't make much, but I don't know. Not everything's about money, either. Okay. Someone said show recommendations. Um, Netflix. My boyfriend and I have been watching Ginny and Georgia. We love Emily in Paris. Um, I'm watching. What am I watching on Hulu? Oh, um, Special Forces. We watch that every Wednesday night. That's a good one. <sighs> Yeah, I'm not really good at shows. And then, I think I got them all. I didn't get a ton. All right, that was everything for questions. I got my makeup done. I just want to put on some. Okay, I just put my work clothes on. I just have black scrub bottoms on. This is the cutest little scrub jacket. It just says Sophie CMA. And then this blue long sleeve is from Walmart. It's really old. But once I get dressed, I put on my lipstick. I'm just um, lip lining. It's a my new favorite thing. Okay. I look crazy. But then I put on like a clear lip gloss. And when I blend it all together, I like the color. Um, then I just, Juliet has a gun, favorite perfume ever. But perfume never lasts on me. Like in 20 minutes, the scent will pretty much be gone. And then lastly, some Bond Protectant Nourishing Serum from Olaplex. And that's pretty much it. I'll just let my hair air dry. Um, and then I'll probably just put it up like in a claw clip or a pony or a bun or a braid. Um, just because having my hair down is quite the challenge. But I can't wait to go lighter for summer. But I just got my hair done like a month or two ago. So I gotta like let it. Because I get it highlighted. <sighs> My hair is naturally pretty dark, so, yes. This video is going to get long, so it was just going to be, like, a true get ready with me. Maybe I'll do, like, a morning routine and do everything, like, faster paced, like, packing my lunch, eating my breakfast, drinking my coffee, my five-minute workout that I hope to do every day. Not five, like 15. But yes, thank you guys for watching. I hope this wasn't like crooked the entire time. It probably was. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I will link everything in the description box. Like this video for more MA content. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.